although um, film culture is taught all around the world in universities and in film schools, um, and rightly so, um, the, the whole idea of how film developed and how it grew and what it represents and how, what it meant, means in society, but the, actually directing um, is not taught. Perhaps it can't be taught. Um, but what can be taught is the techniques, the structures you need to be able to uh, direct a film, hold it together, have a vision, and bring that vision to the, to the screen. And I have um, developed techniques over more than 50 years of filmmaking um, to cut out the waste that occurs in most filmmaking because of, uh, there's always an element of chaos. And chaos can be useful uh, because thing, it sparks things off, but it can also be de very destructive. So I have developed over the years a way of making, of directing of, of effectively. And so, and I've taught it. I've, I've have, uh, nurtured young, several young directors, including people like Neil Jordan and, and so forth. And, it, and it, it, you know, one of the things that first time directors always ask, the, the big question they always ask is, how do you know where to point the camera? And it's a very good question. <laughs> and I, I, I know how to, to, to do that. I know how to teach that, how to do it. <laughs> and I, I, I can save an enormous amount of suffering. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, directing is a arduous task. It's, um, it's ruined my life. <laughs> <laughs> because you're always on call and um, you're always out there with your begging bowl and uh, trying to find the money and the actors and all the things that, that you know there are so many reasons why a film should not be made and there's only one reason why it can, it can be and should be so I'm I have a technique whereby I can equip people to solve, to learn and solve the, the difficulties that the thing throws up.